Hello, everybody. This is Smash Happy Chinese Unit Seven, Lesson Twenty One. This is Chang here. First, 生词 First one, which means 节目节目 All right, this one 节目 is the program, especially for the TV programs. All right, TV programs. So let's talk about the first kind sports program. 体育节目，体育节目 ，That's the sports program or sports show.、Right? Next kind, music program. 音乐节目，音乐节目 ，The music program, MTV.、Right? English programs. 英文节目。英文节目 ，and next one you go first the Chinese program, the Chinese program. 汉语节目，汉语节目。Right. Next one, this is the official TV program. TV program, right? First one, TV television, 电视。电视 So the television program or TV program would be 电视节目。电视节目。Right. Next new word. This one. 看。看。This one 看 means to look, to watch, and here it means to watch. Right. So to watch TV program, you go first. All right, with me. 看电视节目。看电视节目。To watch the sports program. 看体育节目。看体育节目。To watch music program, you go first. With me, 看音乐节目 To watch English program, 看英文节目看英文节目 One last time to watch Chinese program. You go first. All right, with me, 看汉语节目看汉语节目 Next one, 电视 is the TV television, and this one, 电影电影 These two are the two most kind of very easily to be confused words. All right, the first one, 电视 is the television, and this one, 电影 is the movie. All right, movie. I'll explain the difference a little bit later. Next one. This one we already learned. What is 电脑？电脑是什么？电脑 ，That's the brain powered by the electricity. This is the computer, right? Computer, very good. And supplementary word, 电话。电话。Alright, one more time. 电话。Alright, this one, 电话 is general calling for the phone. All right, general calling for the phone, including the landline and your mobile. All of them you could you could call them 电话 Remember this word, 打打 When this go with the board games, it means to play. When this go with the games or computer games, it also means to play. All right, and here 打电脑 kind of like to use to to play the computer. And、uh, this one, 打电话，打电话。I explain this one, 打 original meaning. One of the original meaning is to hit, to hit. So when we make a phone call, the the hand gesture sometimes look a little bit like to make to to smash the people, kind of like you hold the machine in your hand, right? So we use this one, 打
to say make phone calls as well, or 打电话 make phone calls. All right, let's check、uh, all the dates first.、Uh, today, 今天 quickly. 今天 next one tomorrow. 明天明天 and yesterday. 昨天昨天 All right, here comes our new word. 天天天天 All right, today, tomorrow, yesterday, they share one character. The same. 天 means the day. So, could you guess the meaning of 天天 Could you guess the meaning of 天天 That means every day, every day. All right. In Chinese, when we double the non, when we double the non, we means every or each one of them. All right. So 天天 means every day. So I have to say, I watch. Oh, sorry. I watch sports program. Every day, remember the sequence I told about the time, place with somebody and action. So time go first. All right. 天天看体育节目。天天看体育节目。Right. I watch a music program every day. I watch music program every day. 我天天看。音乐节目，我天天看音乐节目。Alright, next one. I watch English programs every day. You go first. 我天天看英文节目。我天天看英文节目。I watch Chinese program today. I watch Chinese program today. 我今天看汉语节目。我今天看汉语节目。I will. I will go for a movie tomorrow. I will go for a movie tomorrow. 我明天看电影。Pay attention. We don't have program after movie, right? 我明天看电影 I made a phone call yesterday. 我昨天打电话我昨天打电话 Right? Actually, if you're going to say the past tense, you need the at the end, right? 我昨天打电话了。Right, not necessary for today's class, but if you're interested, I will not talk about this further. If you have questions, we solve it during the face to face. Right, next this one, do you still remember this one? 想想 means want to. All right, want to. So. I want to watch TV programs every day. I'm a couch potato. 我想天天看电视节目。我想天天看电视节目。I really want to watch the sports programs today. 我想今天看体育节目。我想今天看体育节目。All right, next one. You go first. Think about it. I don't want to watch Chinese program today. I don't want to watch Chinese program today. You will need this one, right? 不不 I don't want to watch Chinese program today. Let's go together. One, two, three. 我不想今天看汉语节目。我不想今天看汉语节目。<coughs> I don't want to go for a movie tomorrow. 
我不想明天看电影。我不想明天看电影。All right. There must be a reason. All right. Let's talk about the judgment's opinion first. 好看，好看。First, 好是什么？好是什么？好是 good. All right, good. And 看 here. Can means look, so literally translation: good to watch, worth watching, worth worth watching. All right, 好看 worth watching. It could be, uh, when it describes the programs, it means worth watching. Or it's good. Generally, it's good, good to watch, worth watching. Right? When this, when you use 好看 to describe the things, the objects, the clothes, the people, it means beautiful or pretty. Right? So the opposites would add. Not in front of it. Oh, shoo, shoo, shoo. let me give you all. Oh no, we don't have. All right, sorry about that. So ugly or not worth watching that would be 不好看 All right, 不好看 So generally, don't use this on people. Right, it's not very polite. So this one, 节目好看节目好看。This program is worth watching. This program is worth watching, right? 节目好看。Is this program worth watching? Question particle here. 节目好看吗？节目好看吗 ？Is this program worth watching? And you could you could combine all of these. Specific program to ask your ask people's opinion about the program, or later on you ask opinion on the clothes, on the people, on the physical appearance of anything, right? So, is the sports program worth watching? Is the sports program good? 体育节目好看吗？体育节目好看吗 ？Right. We only choose one. Let's say,、uh, is the Chinese program good? 汉语节目好看吗？汉语节目好看吗<咳> ？And the answer to that is the program is very good. The program is very worth watching. 汉语节目很好看。汉语节目很好看 ，right? <coughs> so all the sentence patterns. First, 我天天看电视。我天天看电视。I every day watch TV. I watch TV every day. 我不想看电视。我不想看电视。I don't want to watch TV. Right. Next one. 今天的电视节目好看吗？今天的电视节目好看吗 ？All right. I I add 今天的 before the 电视节目 first. Let's check this one by one. 电视 the TV program. 电视节目 TV program, right? 今天 which day? 今天 today, all right? This one the the means the the that, all right? So 今天的电视节目 that would be today's TV program, right? Today's TV program. Today's TV program good or worth watching? 吗 Is today's TV program worth watching? 今天的电视节目很好看。今天的电视节目很好看。Today's TV show is very good.、Okay. So here, <coughs> I offer you several structures to talk about the habits, experience, and impression. Right? First, to talk about the habits is something you do every day. 你天天 plus the action plus the question mark. To form a yes or no question, right? For example, 你天天吃早饭吗？你天天
吃早饭吗 ？You every day 吃 to eat to eat. All right, and this one 早饭，早饭。早饭，早 means early, and 饭 is the food, like a 米饭 the rice food, right? 早饭 the early food breakfast. 你天天吃早饭吗 ？Do you eat breakfast every day? Right? 你天天吃早饭吗 ？And the answer could be affirmative. 我天天吃早饭 ，or 我天天喝牛奶。I eat breakfast every day. I drink milk every day. 我天天吃早饭。I every day eat breakfast. 我天天喝牛奶。I every day drink milk. Right? And it could be a negative. I don't do this. But you don't need to add 天天 It just simply I don't like this. I don't do this. So to deny, 不 no. Oh no no no, no. 不 no. 我不吃早饭 I don't eat breakfast, which is not a very good habit. 我不吃早饭我不吃早饭 I don't do this action. 我不喝牛奶 I'm. Oh, I forgot the word. Hmm. Blah blah blah. Some tolerance. Sorry about that. Lack tolerance. Lack. Yeah. Whatever. I teach Chinese, not English. I don't drink milk. Right. This is to talk about the habit. Let's talk about experience. The experience is you do the action in the past, not necessarily every day or quite often. Right. So you need the time. You need the time. You plus the time plus the the action, the experience. And for past tense, you need a l, right? You need a l after the action. So, 你今天吃早饭了吗？你今天吃早饭了吗 ？You today, 今天 today, 吃早饭 ，eat breakfast, eat breakfast 了吗 ？Past tense. And the question particle. You today eat breakfast already? Kind of like you could find,、uh, you could translate as already. It means past tense. And ma into a question.、Uh, do you eat breakfast today?、Right. And the answer, the affirmative answer, you still need the la after the action to mean the past tense. 我吃早饭了。我吃早饭了。Yes, I eat breakfast. And the negative,、uh, we have two form for negative. The first one is the very strong denying. It's the same with this one. It means no, I don't really like this action, or I don't really have this habit rather than experience. So. 我不吃早饭 It's the same. 我不吃早饭 I don't eat breakfast. To deny the whole experience,、uh, along with the habit, right? And the second is this one. 没没 Generally, 不 and 没 the both of them mean no or not. No or not. When you put 不 before an action, it means your opinion. I don't do this action. It's it's the negative. It's how to say it. It's to deny your opinion. I don't like this action. I don't do this action. When you put 没 before an action, it means this action haven't happened in the past, haven't happened in the past, or didn't happen in the past. So it's to deny the fact of this action, not necessary opinion. Right. For example, 我没吃早饭。我没吃早饭。I didn't have my breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast. So it means yes, I didn't have breakfast. Probably today. 
probably not yet, but it doesn't really mean I don't have the habit of having breakfast, right? Probably because you're busy, you don't really have the time, right? So this one may is to deny the fact, the boo is to deny the opinion, right? And the last one to talk about impression, you could put how before several actions. It means good to blah blah blah. For example, 好吃好吃 That means good to eat, tasty for the food, for the food. And the tricky one is we also have one 好喝好喝 What is 喝喝喝牛奶 Remember, I I I made an example here. 喝牛奶 to drink the milk. All right. So both 好吃 and 好喝 means tasty. But we separate the word "tasty" into two words in Chinese. 好吃 means good to eat. 好喝 means good to drink. So when you're talking about the dishes, for example, the Chinese food, they are very tasty. 中国菜好吃。中国菜很好吃。The Chinese food is very tasty, and the food is for you to eat. But if you're talking about the coffee, the milk, the drinks. You say 好喝 for example, 爱尔兰的牛奶很好喝。爱尔兰的牛奶很好喝。Generally, I think the milk of Ireland, the milk in I could buy here is very tasty. So when you say when talking about the drinks tasty, you need to use 好喝 That's a little bit tricky, right? And next one, 好玩，好玩。This one, 玩 means to play, to play, right? So 好玩 means good to play. Actually, it means funny, funny or interesting. Right? The interesting is just too long. I won't write it on the board. 好玩 funny or interesting. And、uh, Johnny to talk about this is to talk about your good impression and the bad impression. 不好 right? 不好 plus the action, not very good. For example, 不好玩好玩 is funny or interesting. 不好玩 is not funny or boring, right? And 好看 means beautiful. I mean, when you describe the clothes or people or just the objects, it means good, beautiful or pretty. So 不好看 means ugly, right? Ugly. So one more time, try not to use this on people. Not polite. And homework, I will give you some dictation. So I would like you to、uh, take a piece of paper, write down the opinion, and you could check the book. You could write down the opinion and see if you get the meaning, or you you could try just directly hear a sentence and see if you get the meaning, or you could try to search your book and find the same character and figure out what figure out what's the meaning. I will check. Your result during the face-to-face -face course. All right. First sentence. Ready? All right. First sentence. 你天天看电视吗 ？One more time. 你天天看电视吗 ？All right. Next one. 你喜欢。看什么节目？你喜欢看什么节目 ？Right, next one. 你不喜欢看什么节目？你不喜欢看什么节目？你的家人呢？你的家人呢 ？Next one。我喜欢上网，不喜欢看电视。我喜欢上网，不喜欢。看电视，网上有很多节目，有很多电影。网上
有很多节目，有很多电影，电视节目很少，有很多广告，我不想看。电视节目很少，有很多广告，我不想看。很多电视节目说英语，我的英语不好。我不想看。很多电视节目说英语，我的英语不好，我不想看。All right. Uh, first, let me give you. I point out several、uh, supplementary words. This could be pretty challenging for you, but、uh, I've given the meaning during the face-to-face -face class. I walked through all these expressions, and this very short paragraph was all right. The first, this one, n, n, this one, n. You could add after a sentence or just a word to ask about the、uh, the further opinion of this group, right? To ask about the further opinion of this group. You can only use this in a context.、Uh, sorry, in a context. In a context, to to function as the abbreviation of the previous question. All right. For example, we're talking about the program you like, the TV show you like. I'll add the n to short of 看什么节目 All right. To short of sorry. To short of 喜欢看什么节目 To short of 喜欢看什么节目 So this one n here function like 喜欢看什么节目 ？The abbreviation of 喜欢看什么节目。So it means 你的家人喜欢看什么节目 ？Right? That's all for my hint. And this one, 上网上网 means to surf on the internet. Direct translation on the net, right? And the 网上网上 In Chinese, when we say in or on or at, the place, the sequence is the place plus the direction. So it's opposite. It's opposite from English, right? Place plus direction. It's opposite from the English. So 网上 actually means on the internet, on the internet, and this one, 广告广告 these, this is the advertise, advertise, right? Okay, that's all for my hint. We go through this part during face to face. Last part, the, the Chinese characters. First word, 节目节目 That's the TV program. For let's go through the first character first. The radical is 草 The above part. Tao means the grass, the grass. So basically, this is the shape of the grass on the horizontal line. There's several grasses. And the meaning of jie actually means the joint or connection of the bamboo, the joint or connection of the bamboo. So involves the mean involves later on involves the meaning of a period of time, a period of something. So jie mu is kind of. Kind of like a period of the show, right? Program, 节目 and this one, 幕幕 is the original、uh, character for the eye, for the eye. Now it becomes a little bit too formal and a little bit like a hist historical word. So we we seldom use this alone. We seldom use this alone. But、uh, I could see it could be very popular in ancient time. All right, that's the original picture of 幕 Right, that's the original picture of Mu. This is the shape of 
of the human eye, right? And later on, it would like become like this, and then involve like this, right? 节目 So a period of time for watching, a period of time for watching program. Next, 电视 the TV, 电影 the movie. 电脑 the computer, 电话 the telephone. All right. So first left part 电 This is another simplified Chinese character. The original one is this. All right. So we took the lower part to make to to make into the simplified characters. We only took the lower part. All right. And this is the not the original character, but the ancient one,、uh, because I cannot find the the original one. This. Would make my point. The vowel part. See, this is the heaven, and the all of the there are the rain. There are the rain, right? The water in the air. That's the sky, heaven, sky, water, water drilling, water, water flowing, and this like wind. And this is the dian electricity. So. Generally, this original character "dian" is to describe this picture. All right, the sky here, the sky. Let me.、Eh? What happened? Sorry. See the sky here, the sky, and then the heaven, the heaven, the raindrops, the raindrops, the rain. See the rain. The rain, and also the rain, and rain with wind.、It's、this part, rain with wind, and electricity. Right, the electricity. Then, so we took this part, we took the lower part into this simplified character. Then, to mean electricity. So the first one, TV. This one, 视 means vision. 视 means vision. The radical 视 is the left part, and also represents the sound. 视 the sign, the sign. All right, and the right part 见 means to see. All right, can I generally to see the sign? A vision, a vision. So 电视 is a vision created by the electricity, the TV. And the next one, 影 left part 景 left part 景 And、uh, it's the original meaning. Jing is the scenery, and、I'll、also give you a hint of the pronunciation because they share a same final, right? This one is that is that the same Jing? They share the same final Jing, and right part three stroke doesn't really a real character, just the radical, right? Shan bristle, and also we call it as shadow, the shadow of things, shadow. So this is the scenery. Of shadow, scenery of shadow. So, combine also means in sh- shadow, the shadow created by electricity. The movie, right? So the structure of shi, it's um, it's a typical. Oh, sorry, it's not a really. It's a combination. It's two kind at the same time. And、uh, generally, for the m- more complicated characters, we have two way. We have the pronunciation. Plus meaning, not necessarily pronunciation on the left side. It could be at the right side, but it's pronunciation plus meaning, half half, or meaning plus meaning. So this, both of these two characters, they they use the, the two master at the same time. All right, the shi represent the pronunciation as well as the meaning, and the jian contribute another part of the meaning as well. All right. It's the same like this. This contribute the pronunciation as well as the meaning, and the right part uh, uh, contribute also a part of the meaning to combine a new character to form the more complicated meaning.、Right. And the next one, 电脑电脑 This is the electricity powered brain. All right, computer. So the left part, 月 and、uh, this one, 月 we really learn as moon. All right, moon. But、uh, when this one yu appear at the left side of the character, at the left side of the character, 
it means the meat, right? It means the meat. When it appears at the right side of the character, right side of the character, for example, the Xinqi, 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 the weak. This one, Qi, is the second character of Xinqi. So this one combined, you could check your book. So when the Yue at the right side, at right side, it means the moon, right? When it is at the left side, it means the meat. I've already explained during the face to face. Uh, I will give you more explanation during the next time. And uh, so this one is the brain, all right? Meat give you um, a hint of the meaning. Now, brain has something to do with the meat. And last one, hua. 电话, this is the telephone or uh, cell phone, right? And the left part is the radical yan speech. This is original character. This is a simplified radical. Simplified radical, right? And right part, she is the town. She is the town. So this one is a typical meaning plus meaning, right? The second type. Meaning plus meaning. Speech and town to represent a part of meaning. So this is speech made by people, right? This one, hua, means the, normally we refer to the speech content or oral language. So the speech powered by electricity, so it means the device, to combine to name the device, all right, telephone. All right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you during the face-to-face -face class.